All right, hey guys, it is time for our news update coming to you on Fridays. And uh, this week, we got a juicy one. I actually have to say, there, you know, for the, there's a bunch of 100 cost stuff that's been happening lately and a lot of 90 VCs. So personally, I'm feeling burned out. I don't know about Globalers. Like, I don't know how you guys are doing, but I've been feeling more than a little burnt out about the number of limited cost stuff. So when I see a story update, old characters that I already have maxed getting a improved and a 70 cost VC, this is the best update of the year so far. <laughs> okay, so taking a look, uh, we have chapter, book three, chapter one, part three, coming to uh, the game this week, which will close out the first chapter of the main story so far this year. And uh, not a moment to, well, actually it's quite a mo few moments too late. It's been a while. Uh, I've been waiting to see the end of the story and waiting for the, like, book three to really get into the meat of it. So, yeah, there's been so much stuff going on lately and so many holidays <clears throat> that it's pushed this out quite late. But I'm really happy to see a story update also because it's a good chunk of Lapis. Next up, um, as for the Void in the Darkness, we are going to be seeing an EX quest. Uh, for Lucio, so many times nowadays, there's stuff for all these premium characters. It's nice to come back to a little bit of free stuff, and that's exactly what we're looking at here. Uh, this new uh, piece of equipment will be a extra bonus for Lucio, and I'm quite excited to have this because, again, Lucio was one of the last truly, truly great story-free unit things that we've gotten in a what feels like a long time and i quite like lucio so i'm hoping that uh, this will give him a adequate boost to potentially give light that other character that it's really been needing uh whether that's in the direction of a tank or an offense i don't know and i don't really care just make him great all right next up we are looking at a uh ex quest 2 or a certain jacket and also for getting more resources for a certain thunder mage that's right i believe silma uh filma filma it's silma uh is also beginning this and we'll come to uh probably a reason why but it's cool to see kind of a little bit of acknowledgement and bringing it back just for this character as well next up Continuing on the feels good train, Lucio UR is getting his reincarnation this week, along with a bunch of other characters. But I'm really, really happy to see that uh, it looks like we are getting a free horn and free uh, resources necessary to get Lucio up to 140. Now, I think you'll need the job points and some resources to potentially, like, he may not be as labor intensive as other reincarnations but it's nice to see this this should have been done much sooner as a matter of fact i think this should have happened right around the time of reincarnations coming out because honestly it would have just been nice for everybody to get a free character of the ur level try out lucio is also just a really good free character with free equipment and everything it, it i know why they didn't do it because they want to push people spending but uh, happy to see that this will not be, in fact, costing players at the moment. Oh, look, a vision card. We'll come back to that in a second. All right. Uh, next up, as for units getting their boosts, I mean, there are Master Quest 2 for basically the rest of the Warrior of the Crystals in this update. You know, Astrius, Joom, Gareth, uh, uh, and Lucio. Uh, so that's going to be really interesting. I'm looking forward. As soon as this update goes live, I'm basically slamming this to see what the Master Ability 2s are. Not only that, but they'll also be getting their reincarnations too. The list of reincarnated characters this time is incredibly long. With Lucio, Joom, Barris, Astrius. Uh, uh, who else do we have? Eliza's getting hers, you know... Uh, 
Snack, Snack is also getting his interesting, as well as... Wait, seriously? That can't be right. Uh, also, a series of mid-tier characters as well, like Varric is getting his. It's just a ice smorgish board. Um, anyway, uh, Mariel, uh, Reviel, Silma, or Surma, whatever I can, and uh, Ranel will also be getting theirs too for SSRs. So it's not a small update in terms of the amount of reincarnation. As a matter of fact, I'm quite happy to see this, strangely enough, because there's so many different characters for a lot of different elements that have kind of been needing it. And it'll be really cool to see how powerful or strong they might be potentially, or how held back uh, they might be too. Personally, I think Varric and Schnack uh, are quite possible to get one of those overcompensations as they have been not used by the community almost at all. So it'll be interesting to see whether that amounts to anything. Eliza getting hers really doesn't need too terribly much to end up being just really, really strong. Eliza can get basically anything, but I would be hoping, I think personally, for some accuracy as well as some missile resistance penetration to bring her a little more back into the conversation. As for uh, wrapping up the URs, Lucio, I just can't wait to see because I think he'll be, he can't not be at least good. So I'm going to be excited for that. Joom, I think is going to be one that's going to be much more held back in terms of a upgrade because she's meta currently and a very, very strong meta character. I just can't see them giving her too terribly much. But that being said, anything that they do give her will just automatically be amazing anyway. So it's not something worth worrying about. Barris, again, meta, so anything they give him is just good for him, and he'll continue to still be one of the best characters in the game when all of this is said and done. As for Astrius, Astrius has fallen a little bit out um, with the some of the newer DPSs having so many tricks, so I'm not going to say that I think that his will be quite uh, a fairly big upgrade, also because of another reason, which is slightly spoiler related, but I am expecting him to get a fairly significant upgrade to potentially have some new tricks in his kit as well as just deal with, uh, more damage. So I, I have good big hopes for this entire update and I'm really excited to see what everyone turns out with. Um, I, I think with the SSRs, there's a lot of huge potential for each of these characters to be very, um, very influential in uh, limited edition PvP, but we'll see. Either way, I'm really, really happy for this grouping. Uh, next up, the Vision card, of course. I know. Uh, so here it is, Reagan's vision card. And as you can see, 70 cost, which means that it won't have increased rates. And this vision card, looking to be a doozy. Supporting two different types of uh, sword class, as well as guns, this vision card will party ability give elemental chain resistance, which is a pretty huge upgrade for... Uh, just any character that can equip this is it makes them more durable in a new way that we have not been able to deal with, especially if the character has any type of barrier. Also, critical damage will also be getting an increase as well as slash resistance increase for maxing out the VC. Now, as for the bestowed effects, we will have tack up and AOE resistance. As for the groupings that this vision card will be good for, specifically the first type of sword, the one that uh, Reagan is in, uh, is the Red Mage class, which has Red Mage as well as classes such as uh, Agrius is in there. Uh, who, who else? Uh, I'm trying to think. Um, Thunder Tank, uh, Alexandria, that's not right. God, I'm blanking on so many names lately. Um, but there will also be unit. That's also the class with Elena. 
And that is the class with Reagan included. So that will all be included on here. So for instance, Elena will also be getting this kind of a boost. And it's a good vision card across basically all characters. Defensive one, but still really good. As for the secondary job class, uh, sword type class, this is the knight class, which does include things such as Gunbreaker, Gafgarian, uh, Noctis, uh, as well as Lightning and... Bradley and Wing Stern. So another BC that's actually quite important here for Wing Stern. And just taking a comp like a brief look here, there are some interesting team comps that could come out of this. Now I'm not going to say that these two sword synergies are going are go like this BC is going to make all swords uh, even better. Like for instance, it does have the potential of working across. Uh, a couple of different elements, but I'm not seeing a total, like a massive amount of synergy here or anything that could be really anywhere near as powerful as the this strategy. This VC, I'm, for instance, like it's not doing anything extra for a gunner a lot because, you, you know, you are getting more critical damage, which, you know, that that can be pretty significant, but it is still like a risk potentially so it does have a lot of potential both physical and magical based classes as every almost everything on this vc works for any character that could potentially benefit from this even Jaden, who is a magic base i mean critical damage up in elemental chain resistance it just works towards more survivability now if the unit wasn't getting hit with a ton of chaining base attacks not going to be a huge thing but that seems to be a direction that a lot of new things are going now uh, elemental chain resistance seems to be the new hotness so you know half a year away from getting elemental chain resistance penetration either way it looks to be a nice VC, and I can see it synergizing very well with Reagan, and potentially as well with Wing Stern. And there's a ton of other characters that I think can benefit from this very nicely. Um, the one element that strikes me really particularly hard as the most beneficial from this VC might be just Ice with a combination of Reagan, Agrius, and Alaya which would be a very potentially tanky combination that would also be very chainy too. Uh, other types, I think light might have the potential. I'm not saying that Thancred is going to be meta here just because of this BC for obvious reasons. We'll see if he ever even gets his 140. But yeah, I can see where this VC might end up being good in a couple of elements, at least off of initial impressions. Um, once the VC is out, it'll be interesting to see what its actual numbers are as this features some new stuff on it. Anyway, thank you so much for watching. Take care and see you next time.